It was a windy day on the island of Sodor. Trees were blown, leaves were scattered, and Sir Topham Hatt's hat flew away. The engines were looking forward to the annual Sodor flower show. At Tidmouth Sheds, Sir Topham Hatt had news of an important special delivery. It must get to Maithwaite Station before the world-famous opera singer Alicia Botti arrives, he boomed. Alicia Botti was coming to open the flower show. The engines were very excited. They all wanted to collect the special delivery, but Sir Topham Hatt gave the job to Percy. Percy was delighted. But after Sir Topham Hatt left, Gordon and James were sniffy. It can't be that special, boasted Gordon, or Sir Topham Hatt would have sent me. For me, added James, a red engine would be just the thing. Percy wondered what the special delivery could be. He steamed out of Tidmouth as fast as he could. Percy arrived at Brendam Docks just as Cranky unloaded his special delivery. Percy was disappointed to see it was a roll of carpet. What's so special about a carpet, he wished gloomily. Maybe it's a magic carpet, me hearty, said Salty. I've heard tales of carpets that can fly. Do you know any magic words, said Salty. You mean like please, asked Percy, hopefully. No, Percy, said Salty. Other magic words like hey presto, hocus pocus, and abracadabra. Cranky had lowered the carpet onto Percy's flatbed. It doesn't look very magic, said Percy sadly. But as Percy puffed away, the carpet unrolled as if by magic. Percy puffed as quickly as he could. He had to stop at a junction. Gordon was waiting there. When Gordon saw what Percy's special delivery was, he sniffed louder than ever. A carpet? No wonder Sir Topham Hatt gave the job to a small engine. Just then, the wind whistled and whirled and the carpet flew into the air. Look, Percy cried, it is a magic carpet. It can fly. That's not magic, snorted Gordon. That's just the wind. Murdoch passed by pulling a long train. And the carpet suddenly dropped onto one of his freight cars. It is a magic carpet, wailed Percy. And it's going without me. Percy chased after Murdoch. Wait for me, he cried. Please, wait! But Murdoch didn't hear Percy. Murdoch passed through Marin Station. James was taking on passengers. Help, cried Percy. Murdoch has got my magic carpet! There's no such thing as a magic carpet, huffed James. Just then, the carpet lifted off Murdoch's freight car and glided onto Toby's roof. See, cried Percy, it is magic. It can fly. Percy raced after Toby. Until finally, Toby pulled into Kelsthorpe Station. Percy pulled in as fast as he could. Wait, cried Percy. And Toby didn't move, but the carpet did. It flew off Toby and landed on the tracks. Help, cried Percy, my magic carpet! Gordon was even less impressed than before. Still trying to make your little job look important, he grumbled. Then there was trouble. Thomas was coming, and he was on the same track as the carpet. 
So Percy and Gordon blew their whistles as loud as they could. But Thomas couldn't stop in time. I'll say a magic word, cried Percy. Hey, presto! Hocus pocus! Abracadabra! But the carpet didn't move. Please, puffed Percy hopefully. Suddenly the wind whistled and the carpet flapped. It lifted off the tracks and fluttered onto Percy's platform. It is magic, gasped Gordon. And I'm going to be late, puffed Percy. Percy's driver had tied the carpet down and Percy steamed off as fast as he could. Percy puffed into Maithwaite Station. Sir Topham Hatt was waiting for him. Percy told him about the magic carpet. It tried to get away, he gasped, and caused confusion and delay. Sir Topham Hatt laughed. There's no such thing as a magic carpet, he boomed. But you, Percy, are on time and a really useful engine. Percy felt very proud. Soon, the carpet was unloaded and put into place. Gordon arrived with Alicia Botti. And the flower show was an enormous success. And even though Sir Topham Hatt had said the carpet wasn't magic, Percy and Gordon were not so sure. <laughs>